after a week of road tripping around Scotland in our Bunk Campers camper van, we thought it might be interesting to show you what a typical campsite in Scotland looks like. So come along and we'll show you around. At a typical campsite in Scotland, you'll park in a designated spot overnight. There will be restrooms, showers, kitchen sinks, a water fill station, and a dump station. So this campsite actually has a family restroom where we can change juniper, changing table, and take a bath, which is going to be really nice. <laughs> yeah, she's excited. <laughs> So this is a typical fill and dump station at a campsite. You'll have your fresh water with the hose. We also have a hose in the back if it needs a longer extension. And bring this over to our fresh water tank. So before we fill up our fresh water tank, which will go right in here, I'm actually going to open up our gray tank, our, our gray water tank, which will drain down um, into the ground. We are currently over a grate that is specifically for gray water dumping. And so it is safe to dump here. So I will open it up. Gray water drains out. All right, while that's draining, I'm going to fill up our fresh water. Basically, just I'll stick that hose in and then I'll go turn it on. All right, you can see that we probably use about three fourths of our fresh water and we'll just fill it up just below the uh, opening. Now the gray water tank is emptied and the water, uh, fresh water is filled up. Now it is time for the fun part. We get to open up this, and this is our black water tank for our cassette toilet. And I get to empty it. Pretty shitty job. Yep. Turn it on! <laughs> so basically what you gotta do is just unlock it from its spot, and it should pull on out. Cords. This is my first time doing this. Oh, Juniper, don't. <laughs> Looks like it's all locked in there. And then. It's like a suitcase. It's a shit case. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> okay, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, rolling that on gravel is not going to be good for anyone. So, most campsites should have a chemical waste or a black water empty station. Actually, you have this hose that you put down to the tank and then you want to rinse it all out once you're done. And, and put chemicals in. Yeah. All right, bye. How was it, Ben? Woo! It's not too bad. It really just comes out in like blue water. And right now I'm just giving it a little rinse. So at home in our camper van, we have a composting toilet where we don't have to empty the solids container that often. We have to empty the liquids one about every couple days, but it's not too bad. But we never have to deal with chemicals. We never have to deal with chemicals, and this is like my least favorite part of this whole process is actually taking one of these out, putting it in, and then having to smell it when you're actually inside the van. It only smells within the toilet area, which is nice, but oh. it's, uh, yeah, it's just not the best. For a cassette toilet, you need to fill it up with about a quarter liter of water, and then add one of these chemical tabs and then it just dissolves into the tank itself. That's the black tank. Mm -hmm. which means that we're not at an established campsite or campground. Yeah, we basically just found a pullover spot <laughs> on on the road. It's a little bit back off the road, so we didn't get so much traffic noise. And the, um, the key to wild camping in Scotland or anywhere in the world is you can't just park anywhere. Um, but there are a couple apps out there. Mm -hmm. One of the most popular ones in, in Scotland and in Europe in general is Park 
Fortnite, and that's the number four. Park Fortnite. And that um, is an app that will show you all of the places that are legal and safe to park overnight around you. It also shows you where you can fill up your water, your fresh water tank, where you can properly dump your gray and black water tanks, and also places where you can park during the day, but not at night. One tip in Scotland specifically is the forestry service actually does manage some parking lots that are meant for overnight parking, essentially to help us camper vanners out. The only reason that we are wild camping tonight or last night actually is that the campground we went to was totally full and there weren't any others um, nearby. So one lesson we've learned is book in advance at least a couple of days, if not even further if, if possible if there's any like campsites you definitely want, want to stay at and juniper agrees